17, they are limbo node uh, on the common area area. So we are removed, removed it again. Okay, so here in the, uh, in the deep in the matrices, just the same procedures, we should identify the urethras and open the para-richer space on here. para -richer space in the later side part, richer space. And also we can find the richest here. So we also can identify the medians, the para-richer space. That is very important because the recycle ligament, they have the medians and the later sides of the para space. When you identify a, a space, then they will be have a very easy to identify your sacral ligament and also reset the region of the sacral Who live in the matrices, they have a, more than 80% of the patient, they got the, the sac in the matrices. So when you have um, the, the deep in the matrices, the your sacral uh, ligament in the matrices uh, region shall be removed. It's uh, very important, and so because of a young age, so we have uh, We preserve uh, the ovary. So in the and put it in the back and uh, remove it uh, on the uh, right uh, left side. Okay, we can find they always have uh, so many obviously in the mature regions on uh, the round ligaments and also the possible of the uterus and then we, we resect uh, the fallopian tube away. Okay. So the same, the sentinel lymph form of dissection on the right side was performed because of early stage. Yeah, so we have a, uh, just have a dissected and uh, so looking for where is the uh, centennial lymphoma nodes. And on the right side, we can find any uh, centennial lymphoma node. We want to identify the uterine artery, so we train, uh, tracked from the little ligament to identify the parietal space and also the identify the uterine artery. Then the space has opened, then we're just uh, looking for where is the centennial lymph node. The space, the most important is to identify the obturated nerve. If the obturated nerve damages them, the, the muscle for adjusting maybe have a trouble after the surgery. So that is a key point to identify the obturated nerve. And then we have a uh, open all the space here, para rich space, and uh, using the ICG to identify if they have a positive sentinel lymph node. And fortunately, they don't have any positive node here. So uh, we have a, uh, no sampling on the right side. Okay, here is the uh, so called the uh, offshore nerve, uh, offshore lymph node, just there. Okay, so here is the tube over ovary and the IP ligament, later the ligament. Okay, so here, here is the uterine artery. They always have a positive. That, that is not the lymph node. That is the uterine artery. Okay, so again, look forward. They, they are not any ICD positive node. Okay, so we identify the uterine artery and the coagulate and the dissect it. So that is the almost they have a similar procedures between the uh, the modified radical or so called the deep in the matrices surgery. You should identify the space and also show identify the structure of the pelvis. So here we can identify the, here is the uterine artery, and then we have uh, identify the ureter again here. And uh, so again, we should open the median side, paraverted space, and then we can identify 
the uh, uh, usual ligament. Here we still preserve the ovary and resect the polypin tube. So we will make the procedure a little bit simple, easy. Okay, so you can find the, uh, uh, this video a little bit different from our video before. Our video before is uh, almost is uh, all clear. We can see any blood loss always the less than the 100 mils or less than 50 mils. But in this case, because of deep in the here, we can we can see the return just attached to the posterior uh, cervix here. So all the structure inside, they have uh, just like the inflammatory status. So it's a very, uh, have a, even they have a contact breathing or they have a, even in the, in the have a dissect the uh, space that will very easy to get breathing on when, when you're doing the surgery. Okay, so that is quite different. So it's not always have a process in the, doing the surgery. So they have a, another low in the high food surgery, you know, in high food, even you don't, you don't have a into the pelvis and uh, so just have a sermon uh, on the legions and then they get the, the destroy the legion. And the, they still not any uh, evidence to doing the cervical cancer in the high food. So uh, we still need to do the surgery to have uh, identify the legions and the see where is the pathology. Okay, here, columns is here. So the uricycle ligament will be here. Uricycle ligament will be ureters adhere to the uricycle ligament. So if you don't, you, if you don't identify the ureter, then you cut it, then the ureter have been cut. So that is the reason they have a same procedure just like the doing the radical surgery. In a radical surgery, you, you shall identify the, the, the space and the ureter in the uh, deep endometrial surgery, just the same. Here is that totally there is your sacral ligament and the ureter getting together. So you want to identify the ureter sacral ligament. You shall free away from the, the, the ureter from, from the ureter sacral ligament. Okay, so here we have a lift up the ureter here and the collar still attached to the posterior lip of the, the, the cervix here. Okay, so because of the endometriosis, get the fibrosis on the, on the, the uricycle ligament area. So it's uh, difficult to identify and uh, isolate the ureter. So here's, after that, after the adhesion layer, then they will be get easy now. Okay, so ureter is getting on here, and the here is the ureter turner, and the here is the ureter We we identify already, but you can find the the return just attached to the ureter ligament. So if you isolate the lateral side, the parietal space, then you can identify the median side, the parietal space. Then they will be the easy. Okay, now we just. Uh, identify the medians are rich space. And here is the ureter ligament. There are so many fibrosis uh, over here. And the ureter just here. So all the space here, we can resect it. Before resect it, the column and the ureters just uh, are joined together in, in here. So if we don't dissect it, they will be, have a, a, a column damage and also the, the the, the ureter damage. And uh, also, it, you know, in the cervix cancer, we need to remove a little bit more cervix from the lesion. So if you don't resect this one, then that just means you just uh, amputate the cervix. So that would be not good for the cervix cancer surgery. So here is the you can find the regions still adhered to the posterior lift and the pre space uh, is difficult to identify. 
here you, you can find inside here is a, a pre rich space, but they have a dense adhesion. You can find the coffee ground colors coming out when you cut it. So that is the, the, the column and the intermediate lesion adhere to the uh, cul-de-sac and the uh, posterior surface. Okay, left side you are to identify and the uricycle ligament identify here. And uh, when uricycle ligament identify, you should be careful because hypogastric nerve just below, they, you can find the longitudinal and the fiber here that is the hypogastric nerve. So when you dissect it, here is the median side part space. You can find the some for color here. So that is the that is the because the ICG we inject. But here is the some adhesion over the return and the uh, uricycle ligament. So we identify the median side part space. And here is the colon just going down here. And the vagina is just there. So we push down. Here is colon. Here is the positive cul-de-sac. They have still some adhesion over here. So we want to identify the pre rated space. You can see here, there is a, there is a nick here. And uh, so we, uh, we identify the, the pre rated space. So they have some chocolate contents we coming off and also some have a feeding basal after the inflammatory change. Okay, so here is the layer of the, the pre rated space. So we press down the, pre, the, the colon and the open the uh, pre rated space. Then they have a, almost the heavy sidewall have been uh, exposures and the ureters just here coming into the interior. So the reason why we perform the procedure is just uh, from uh, the dorsal pole portions. They're just um, uh, from the para richer space and also the pre richer space because of the, the most of the feed, the, the base of feeling just from posterior to anterior. So uh, if we identify and uh, calculate on the, the base, so then we can decrease the, the blood loss during the surgery. So you can find they still have a, a little bit losing, but totally blood loss is less than as 300 mil after the surgery. So you can find that because of inflammation, inflammatory change, so they get to some, uh, some breeding over the, uh, over the rock surface, but they still have a good hemostasis uh, of the world. You can, you can find the structures of the written, just have, have a, uh, uh, because of the uh, endometriosis over here. So we just, uh, so we place down uh, the returns and the uh, uh, create pre written space. Then later on, we will uh, resect the, the, the endometrial lesion here. Okay, so medium side, hard written space coming out here and the column will be identified here. We, when, when we tracing the returns, then we can identify the, the column, the position of the column. So it will be uh, much easier to identify the median parameter space here. Okay, here is the median parameter space, and the, here will be the the uricycle ligament, yes, and the return, and the, also the ureter we have a uh, little up by the by the assistant here, so they will be uh, quite safe. And the, here you can find the labid animal muscle. They get the fiber. So here is the so called the wine line. And the bit above is the internal of your muscle, below is the labid ani muscle, and the extent of the white line is the, is the, the uh, itching spine here, and the costume muscle just, uh, just show here. Okay, so here we can also find the optional nerve over here. Okay, so here very clearly, they have uh, up to the sidewall. And the, the, the sidewalls, they still have uh, some fibrosis here. Okay, so we identify the, 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 the ICG again. We, we want to know if they have a same dip, the ICG positive node there, but it's still not. There are not any positive node on the, uh, on, on the pelvis. Okay, so here is the ureters clearly identify, left side ureter clearly identify, return here. So that is, I'm talking about the 
when you're doing the deep interpretations, the first line is that you were to identify the, the later part, richer space identify, your cyclic identify, and the median uh, part, richer space identify, written identify again. So that is, uh, if you identify this uh, structure, Okay, so you are just here. Here is the uh, written artery. So because of the early stage, stage one A one. So uh, we just uh, doing the modifier radical, uh, not a standard radical hysterectomy. So they have a. Uh, we don't take a lot of the uh, parameters and the preserved, but also the hypertrophic nerve have been preserved. Here is the ureter, and the ureter are very coating over the ureter here. So the, the Procedures still in the uh, deep in the matrix is, is a little bit different in the here's. Here's when we have uh, identify the ureter uh, in the deep in the matrices, if they had not the uh, the breathing involvement, then anterior we will not uh, dissect a lot. But in the uh, in the radical history for cervical cancer. We shall identify it all. So here they clear, we can find the ureter here. 
uterine artery, later ligament here, and the uterine artery just going over here. So it's crossing over the, the, the ureter and the uterine artery crossing over. So we just uh, enlarge the uterus, later ligament just going off here. So here is the totally, there is the, the uterine artery. So we just uh, uh, resect it from the very beginning of the uterine insert uh, to the internal artery. Okay, you have dissected out and the ureters. And here is the bridge. So the, we, we identify the, the size of the ureter insert the breather. Okay, here, here is the breather, and uh, here is the ureter insertion side for in the breather. And uh, a little bit, we take a little bit the para, uh, so called the later parametrian uh, tissues away. The same procedure on the, the left side. We can find here is the para basical space here. Yes, but it's not important in, uh, in this situation because uh, we don't do in the radical, which is me. So you can find the pyrethral space here and the ureter just here. And uh, here is the uterine artery, we take it out. And uh, here will be the insertion side to the, to the breather. On, on the way, dissect it out. Okay, so ureter have been dissected out uh, from the, the attached the, the tissues. And uh, so here is the dip it out in the uterine artery. Okay, again, we dip it again. Okay, so all the way the ureter to the breather have been identified and uh, removed it. And here is a so-called the mental parametrics. So uh, because they have a perform, so we just uh, take it a little bit. Here's the so-called is the best cold uh, sculptures, the ligament uh, here's Okay, we dissect that out. And uh, so the, the, the ureter have been identified and pushed down on, on here. Okay. Okay, here is the, here is the tube surface fascias and uh, here is the attach, attachment tissue here. And uh, here is the ureter into the breeder. So we just have uh, identified and, uh, and, uh, and, re and remove the so-called the metro parametrin. And, the, and the also, so here where we have the mental parametrins and the, some, the, the later parametrins and the posterior parametrins we have been uh, resected already. Okay, so here is the, we can find the, our user manipulator just here. We take about the two centimeter away from the, 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 the foldings. Here is some small basal filtration vessel. That is a uh, so-called the uh, basal vaginal branch of the, the, the vaginal artery. Also, also, we just have a coagulate on and uh, dissect it away. Okay. So because of the recently, I have been talking about the, in the leg study, they are talking about the CO2 in separations. That is uh, not really. But they have another thing about the uh, using of the uterine manipulator, like uh, make the, the tumor spread. So uh, actually, in our study, we don't have uh, uh, this uh, recurrence because of the uterine manipulator. But we still uh, think about maybe we can use another way to have uh, uh, avoiding the some 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 hospital maybe get the uh, contaminator of the tumor to the uh, to the tissues. So recently we use the NODIA, or we can find the the returns here, and uh, so here's the the uh, we, we use the NODIA to close the vaginal cuff, and uh, so uterus is here, uterus here. And uh, here is the uh, visionals. So it returns here. We just have a uh, using the, the endogia uh, to uh, close in the vaginal cuff. So you just see here. And uh, they have about the two centimeter. The, the visionals have been crossed in, cross in the endogia. We know 
in the pathologist they use they use a lot of the EA for the the uh, colon reanastomosis and uh, in the early stage we using NOGIA in the hysterectomy but they are not used for a long time but now I think there is another way here is a the cuff we can have using the NOGIA to put it in here and resect it so the lesions here have been enclosed in this stapler. They have stapler here. You can find it's very clear. Stable half of the, the vision have been resected. And another one from the another side, we use the endosia again and resect it. Okay, so the uterus almost completely resect inside the uh, list visionless and the service inside here. So then we just uh, resect it again. They have uh, some disadvantages is that because of they have uh, some stable here. So when you use in the bipolar, then they will be not, 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 not work because of the stable that is the, they have a uh, electro transit. So they cannot uh, calculate by bipolar. Okay, so we cut it and uh, step by step. So, and the uh, ureter is just here. The ureter going to the left side. And here is the, the vaginus. Here is the uterus. And the tumor is inside, in cross in, uh, in the, uh, in the, here. Okay, so we cut it. Still, we have vascularizations and uh, cut it off. So this have a court the the visionless. Okay, so take it off and put it on the end of back. And then we open uh, open the cup again and uh, and uh, here is the it away. Here is the uh, right subingenital me because we want to put it on the endobic to take it off. So here is the ovaries and uh, Philippine tube here because the young age, so uh, we preserved uh, the ovary. Because the uh, inflammatory of the, the, uh, the patient, so they get the very thick of the, uh, the tissue around the Philippine tube. Yes, cut it off. Okay, so then we just put it, take it out from below. So the tumor have been uh, crossed in the uh, stapler. So they will be very clear. Okay, so then we make a, a sutures on the calf. Yes. We use, we would like to use the B-lock for the closure in the calf, but because it is uh, this lady a little bit uh, low income, so we have uh, just using uh, one uh, PK knife and uh, using the Vipro. Uh, so, so, so up at when they, when she discharges, just uh, about the. Uh, they still pay less than 1,000 US dollars. So it's uh, quite cheap for the, the, the patient. Okay, so they will be uh, like uh, sutures and uh, close the cow.
So we can find the ureter here. We direct uh, suture on from the laparoscopes, the bilateral ureters identify, and uh, all the lesions just uh, beside, uh, just on the pelvic side wall have been dissected away. So, uh, so the space is uh, quite clear. So the principle of the uh, radical surgery is just the same as the uh, the the in the patriarchal surgery in the, we got the cul-de-sac vibrations. But, but, and uh, just uh, doing the procedure just as uh, regular. And I think that would be better. Then we will not be have the same mistake just in the leg study. You know, in leg study, because of the not standardized of the, the procedures. So they get uh, such a barrier in the uh, laparoscopic radical surgery. So that is the reason they get a very poor outcome for the, for the patient they get the, the use in the uh, laparoscopic surgery. So that's the reason we shall have a, we shall have a standardized in the deep in the maturation surgery. Then I think they will be have a, uh, the same result that the patient that got the, the deep in the maturation after the radical surgery, we, we always just uh, keep observation. We don't give them the adjuvant therapy after the surgery. So that's a reason. Yes. So, okay, so we can find after the surgery, they have uh, some, they have a, uh, yeah, but not any surgery choices. So they have a, also they can have a, get the enough the the the, the tissues and the, so that is the ovary. We we will suspend the ovary on the the raw ligament and uh, make a, a hemostasis later on. Okay, we have a stitch on the ovary on the raw ligament. Okay, there will be the another. Okay, after that, that is all. Okay, so check breathing and the session revision, that will be the whole the surgery, yes. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor Lee, for such a wonderful uh, surgical techniques and that shows that uh, uh, laparoscopy surgery, especially in the deep endometriosis, together with uh, cervical cancer. So, uh, is there any question from the floor? Uh, yeah. Just an interesting question. How long did this actually take to do, average time? We have just uh, speed up about three and a half hours, just three, uh, three and a half hours, yes. Actually, in the regular, just not like severe adhesions, we just take the two and a half hours to the perform uh, lapsical radical surgery. That's just another one hour is the, for the deep in maturity. So, <laughs> so take the one more hours, yes. So um, some doctor, if it's a cervical cancer, they don't put in the vaginal, they don't put in any manipulator, just the vaginal tube. And they use the traction to just like uh, open uh, laparotomy. They track and then dissect out. Uh, what is your opinion about this? Yes. So they say if a cancer, they don't put in uh, the manipulator yeah. at all. Really, that is the methods that's, that's the, the proposed by the Masaki Ando, and uh, also the Kenoi, that, that uh, he's a student. That is a so-called uh, no see, no touch method. But according our experience for the modern, uh, we have uh, now we have uh, just about uh, 500 cases of the, the laparoscopic radical hysterectomy. Actually, yeah, that is the not problem because of the even the the five. Years, uh, 10 years ago, 
we still have the urine management later. But most important is to keep the uh, recess margin, it should be free. And uh, when you uh, push out the, 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 the ureter, you should not put it on, on the pelvis to contaminate the, of the pelvis. And the last view, you can see we have using a, a peringer to rinse over the, the, the cream, the pelvis, even the upper dormant. We actually we use the uh, normal saline, sometimes more than you know, 10,000 meals to have the washing inside. And so they have no any such code the, 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 the recurrence uh, related to the surgery. That is the reason I think that the uterine manipulator uh, is maybe the possible reason for the poor prognosis. But actually, the, really, you can look for the data from the, the Western country. They always have a very little concern about the parametrins, especially for the later parametrins. We have a, in the particle surgery, it's very important to get it the later parametrin, mental, mental parametrin, and the dosal parametrin. That is all is very important. And uh, most of the doctor, they doing the, the margin resection just above the point to, to, to 1.2 centimeter. That is not good enough because of the, in the radical surgery, they should have the two centimeter at the least. But most of the surgeon, they just above the average, the point, point 0.6, point 0.8 centimeters. That is a quite far away from the standard radical surgery. I think that the data from Japan and the mouth, we found that the data quite, quite not the same as the, the, in the leg study. And uh, we find the, the, the reason for they have a very poor outcome is because of the training and standardizations of the radical surgery. So even we have very confident if the patient come to our clinic or come to our hospital and doing the laparoscopic radical, she said to me, I believe the outcome will be better than any other place because we have a standard method in the size of the resections and the, the, the uh, especially for the, the parameter space and the, in the, the parametrin, the resection includes the dosal, later the ventral, and also the vaginal margin. That is a very important. And the concept of the tumor-free concept is also very important in the, in the oncology surgery. Yes. Thank you. Uh, maybe I just ask one last question before we break off for lunch. Prof, does she have any symptoms of a severe endometriosis such as this? Yeah, yes, I was yes, thinking yes. because there's a nodule left slightly on the uh, yeah. The right side. yeah. Uh, she suffered from the dysmenorrhea. Also, they have a dysphagia. So that is the reason we have a suspect they have a, a DIE already and then we get the physical examinations and they should they have a nodularity okay. in the in 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 in, in the post called sac area. So I think in the very beginning, because they have a little bit elevated in the C125. And so I think that is a sign of the deep in matrix, not very high, just about the 60, 67. And uh, so that is uh, because of the, 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 the symptoms and also the elevator of the C125. And also during, uh, when we have a physical exam, we find there should be have a, a problem for the deep endometriosis. Yeah. Okay, thank you once again, uh, Professor Lee. And 